Hi guys, a very warm welcome to Motorhoming Adventures. Motorhoming Adventures. Absolutely, this is our new channel and the old one being? It was, it was offshore and onshore adventures but here we're going to bring you all things motorhoming, the UK, Europe, further afield, who knows. Absolutely and we'll also be bringing across some of our original films that are on our old channel or motorhoming films of course and we'll be bringing them on to this channel so you don't miss out absolutely yep yeah. so stay tuned all things motorhoming technical trips travels you name it it's great to have you along yeah absolutely and if you enjoy the channel please do subscribe oh, of course please do subscribe and of course the odd like is good too thank you well good morning guys bonjour <laughs> yes, from fabulous France. Uh, still in the Alps, and uh, we're on what are we on? Day four. losing track. Four. Day four, day five. Four. I'm losing track. Yeah, me too. Anyway, it's got a, a good treat. Sign. Yes, <laughs> got a treat for you today. Uh, a lovely run up to a place called La Grave, which is um, an opportunity to go up in a cable car to some of the um, uh, called the Deux Alpes, where uh, I think we may get a glimpse of a glacier or two. So join us for this fab trip. Uh, up in the cable car, definitely not in a motorhome, <laughs> and enjoy the scenery, guys. Well, of course, we're going up in Julie's little camper van. Uh, Resi the Moho is still on site at La Rencontre du Soleil. And but the cable car is going to take us to the peak. Yes. So come along for the ride and enjoy this spectacular scenery.
bit excited are you Resi? Yes. Oh, and look at this. Look at this. We're jumping on board and we're going to be off and away soon. Merci. So there we go guys, uh, La Grave, and it looks pretty exciting. Uh, it cost us uh, 30 euros per adult, if you fancy doing the trip and you're down this way. And um, we are so much, so very much looking forward to showing you some fantastic alpine scenery. And as we edge our way to the um, departure gate here, you can just see up the top there where we're hopefully heading. We're not quite sure where we're going to go, but whatever it is, I'm pretty sure it's going to be spectacular. No And there's a quick look at the map that they give us. We're going to hopefully do it in two stages. You get an opportunity to stop halfway up. And I think when we get to the very top, um, that's going to be about 10,400 feet. So we're going to get, I suspect, some fantastic views from up there. That amazing peak in the distance there. Tiny little villages down below now as we get higher into the mountain. Wow. It's super wow. There's our, uh, there's our opposite cars coming down as we're going up. We go slow every now and again, just uh, as the ones further up get to, the, uh, get to the station, where you can hop off and uh, pop into a cafe up there, which we may well be doing. Oh yes. Oh yes, definitely. It's very hard to see below us, but uh, you've got some lovely colours from these alpine. Oh, alpine yeah. flowers below us and you can just 
see a walking track there for those who are bold enough to try the walking route. Um, there, the first chance we've got to uh, really start to see the uh, glacier now, up and close. Just see that amazing thickness of ice there. And then the uh, melt water, which is just glistening as it comes down over the rocks there. That is just spectacular. Very grey looking ice from all the dust and uh, glacial moraine. And just down there, yeah, some walkers with, uh, oh, we saw them. They were a with a little one. Cable car ahead of them. They've obviously stopped. Yeah, they might, yeah they might have stopped and had a walk. Wow, just look at that. That is just We could stop on the way down. Incredible. Walk here. You're right, you're right. Not often you get up in amongst glaciers. Not often at all. Station yeah. That's stunning. We're reaching a uh, reaching a stop off point where we're at sort of halfway point here, and uh, so I think we'll get a chance to get out and show you a bit more of the views, hopefully without uh, reflections and uh, and any of the glass, which is a bit, as I say, or plastic, which is a bit uh, a bit grubby. We just stopped at the. Um, at the halfway point where we swap over cable cars. A load of skiers just on their way down. That looks amazing. This is our uh, this is our second one. Ready to take us on up. And here comes our little cars with the next lot of skiers coming down. Big group of youngsters, obviously had a lot of fun up there by the looks of it. And look at that down there, an alpine playground even, and a zip wire, wow. It's got to be one of the highest playgrounds in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on our second cable car. And uh, this one will take us to the top. Hold tight, guys. Look at the waterfalls and that coming off the glacier there, aren't they amazing? See, this is all the glaciers just yeah. reduced, is not it? Yeah. You can see where it, it was. Yeah, retreating, retreating back up the mountain. of um, that glacial moraine there and in fact if you look down there you can uh, just see down there there's a uh, crevasse down there but the ice is so grey and so covered with the uh, moraine that, uh, that it doesn't even look like ice but that looks like a deep crevasse. <laughs> So I've hopped off at the station at the top. Probably won't be skiing myself, but look at that. Oh my god. That is just incredible. Wow. Remember years ago we um 
in the early 90s we were lucky enough to get to the Canadian Rockies and went up on a on a, a similar type of thing but still these views are just off the scale come and look at this guys come and look at this cool air up here stuck my top on my hoodie but we're uh, down at the bottom where we started we were at um, about 25 degrees today but it's still a uh, put a top on still a put a top on moment um, but look at that Julie capturing a bit of that incredible view. God knows how many miles we can see here, folks, but it's a long, long way. In fact, we'll go over and have a look at that information board for you so we get a flavour of how on earth they get that up here. I've no idea. Wow, look at this. Cool. all the different peaks as I say we're at about 10,400 feet I think here but uh, that's giving you a, an idea of what's below us viewpoint here yeah another way of depicting what uh, I think we've seen on the other board there so yes I think they're um, we're at 3205 meters but then some of these peaks in the distance there, three, five. What else have we got that's bigger? Three, two, three, four, three, four, six, five, three, nine, seven, eight. That's a big one over there, over in that direction. But yeah, we're pretty, um, we're pretty well up in terms of height, looking at some of the ones around us. Lots are slightly lower than us. So yeah. Uh, 3697 there, there's a 43 there, that's a biggie. Where's that one? Oh, yes, right over in the distance there. Quite a distance, though. you can definitely see those peaks in the further horizon. Wow, the buzzing of the cable cars. Well, what do you think of that, Resi? What do you think of that? Is that not off the scale or what? Off the scale. Off the scale of amazing. Off the scale of amazing, isn't it? Wow. And the brightness off the snow is incredible. Nikki enjoying the view there and how could you not? These little settlements down in the valley here just look like absolutely minute. And then right down there, down in the dip there, that's the road. Uh, if we'd carried on past La Grave, that's uh, the road that uh, we've travelled on. Looks just look like tiny little ants down there. the other side from this station that's where all those skiers had obviously come from look at that right up onto the peak there with the ski lifts 
some walkers down there. Wow, telling us there that the um, glaciers or the crevasses can get up to uh, 50 odd metres deep. See some evidence of them down there. Wow. There's crevasses down there. It's always so hard to get your head around the fact that it's actually moving as well. It's imperceptibly moving, these enormous glaciers with metres and metres thick ice. Always something that I've found hard to get my head around. The movement of glaciers, truly wonderful phenomenon of nature. Girls are heading for the cafe. Sounds a very good idea. And of course, as it's 1.30ish, it would be rude not to have. Look at that. Yum yum. It would be rude not to have a bit of scram. And of course, making sure that the local the local beer is up to standard for quality control purposes only. And it was, uh, what have we got? A local beer blanche. Very nice too. Bon appétit. And when in, when in the Alps, up at the top, do what the locals do, which is a bit of chartreuse, a little shot of chartreuse. It's pretty yummy, I have to say. There's an amazing look from the uh, other side. We're just up from the uh, just up from the cafe. So they get up. Mont Blanc in the distance. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right indeed. Hmm? Well, it looks pretty big, that's for sure. Oh, I didn't know that. That's a huge peak. trip up this morning hope you've enjoyed that as we start that long travel down to the bottom look at that just caught them as they start their descent we've stopped at the midpoint station to change trams and there's the that's the start point flags of the mountain bike descent if you're crazy enough to try it and just already out of sight going all the way back down to these tiny little settlements there what a descent that must be in fact you just can get a tiny glimpse of the uh, path that they went past on god knows how many feet i'll have to work that out for you but um that would be a serious adrenaline run on a mountain bike where we started wasn't that amazing absolutely and for 30 euros a piece that was definitely worth every cent 
super value guys if you're ever near here then check it out Back at our roundabout to our turn into our campsite. Through this tiny little village, this lovely backdrop. Shout out to Nicky Noodles who was driving. Nicky. Go, go, Nicky Noodles. Nicky Noodles. Nicky Noodles. Noodles. That's what your sister calls you. So, yeah. Nicky Noodles. So I've now introduced all of our viewers to your other name. I'm not so sure about that. Nicky Noodles. <laughs> for driving Fanlass, the camper van, on yet another exploration adventure. Albeit Fanlass didn't go to the top of that summit, but um, spectacular nonetheless. There we go, home sweet home. For one more night. And then we're off tomorrow, the water? heading south for Where's the Med. The um, well, that was a fantastic trip over to Le Grave, and what an amazing ride on the cable wow, car. Wow. Just absolutely. superb views at the top. Oh my word, it yeah. was just... Well, Mind-blowing, really. It was. Those yeah. moments, those moments to treasure for decades to come. Absolutely incredible. Hope you enjoyed it. Absolutely, yes. Well, I think yeah. you did, didn't you? Oh, just a bit. What were your chips like? Um, well, they were sort of long and yellow. Is that... I don't know. What am I going to do with her? Anyway, um, we do hope you enjoyed today. If you haven't subscribed yet, then of course it would be lovely to have you along. We've got uh, another couple of weeks down here, so um, keep an eye out for our next films. Um, we're off to the Med tomorrow, so um, even hotter down there. So do come along and join us. Thanks for watching, and we've loved having you along. See you very soon. Bye. Bye, Bye guys.